We're setting the stage for today's fascinating story about a clock that ticks slower than any timepiece you've ever seen. This isn't just any clock. It's a monumental 500-foot-tall engineering marvel being built by none other than Jeff Bezos, the billionaire founder of Amazon. But just how slow is this clock? We're talking about a clock that ticks once per year. Yes, you heard that right, one tick per year. With a design that looks like something straight out of your favorite steampunk comic book or movie, this clock has already cost a whopping $42 million, and it's still far from finished. Stick around, because in the next few minutes, we're diving into the story behind this super slow clock, known as the clock of the long now, and what makes it so special? Background information. So, what's the deal with this super slow clock, and where did the idea even come from? The concept for the clock of the long now was first dreamed up by Danny Hillis, a computer scientist and entrepreneur who's also known for his work as a professor and as a builder of autonomous dinosaur robots and Disney theme park rides. Back in 1986, Hillis started thinking about time in a way that most of us never do. He imagined a clock that could tick once every year, chime once every century, and keep time for 10,000 years. That's right, 10,000 years. It's a mind-boggling concept, but Hillis was serious about it. Fast forward to today, and Hillis's company, Applied Minds Inc., is leading the design of this clock. But they're not alone. One of the biggest supporters of this project is none other than Jeff Bezos, the man who's built a $1.7 trillion company, and who also happens to be worth around $190.9 billion at the time of writing this video. Bezos has been captivated by the idea of this clock since he first heard about it, and he's been heavily involved in bringing it to life. In an enthusiastic tweet, Bezos revealed some key details about the project. Installation has begun, 500 feet tall, all mechanical, powered by day-night thermal cycles, synchronized at solar noon, a symbol for long-term thinking. The hash 10, 000 year clock is coming together thanks to the genius of Danny Hillis, Xander Rose, and the whole clock team. Detailed description of the clock now, let's talk about the clock itself. The clock of the long now isn't just a timepiece, it's an architectural and engineering feat. The clock is being built inside a mountain in West Texas, right on Jeff Bezos's property. It's not exactly easy to get to either. The nearest airport is several hours away by car, and even then, you've only just begun your journey. Once you arrive, you'll need to hike up a rugged foot trail that climbs 2,000 feet above the valley floor to reach the clock's location. If you're planning to visit, you might want to invest in a good pair of hiking boots. The clock itself is entirely mechanical and will be powered by thermal cycles created by the temperature differences between day and night. This means that the clock won't need any electricity to run. It's completely self-sustaining. The clock's mechanism is designed to tick once every year, with a chime on the century and the ultimate chime 10,000 years from now. Inside the mountain, the clock will house five massive anniversary chambers. Each chamber is dedicated to a different milestone. One year, 10 years, 100 years, 1,000 years, and 10,000 years. Each time the clock hits one of these anniversaries, a new display or event will be revealed. For example, the one-year anniversary will feature an incredible spectacle, a display of the planets and the Earth's moon, including interplanetary probes launched during the 20th century. However, not all of the anniversary events have been planned yet. The idea is that future generations will take up the mantle and design their own celebrations for these milestones. In fact, for the 10-year anniversary, something we can all hope to see in our lifetime, the clock team is actually taking suggestions via email. So, if you've got a great idea for what the 10-year chime should look like, don't hesitate to reach out. You never know, your idea could become part of this incredible project, significance and symbolism. At this point, you might be wondering, why? Why go through all this effort to build a massive, slow-ticking clock that most of us will never see fully completed? What's the point of spending $42 million, and likely much more by the time it's finished, on something like this? Well, as Jeff Bezos himself has explained, the clock is meant to be a symbol, a reminder that not only does the future exist, but the far-off future exists. The clock is a way to encourage people to think beyond their own lifetimes, to consider the legacy they're leaving behind, and to 
recognize that the world we live in today will be inherited by generations far beyond our own. The clock of the long now is designed to stand the test of time, both physically and conceptually. It's a project that's as much about philosophy as it is about engineering. Bezos and Hillis want to create a physical reminder that our actions today will have repercussions that echo through the centuries and millennia to come. It's about fostering a mindset of long-term thinking, something that's increasingly rare in a world that often prioritizes short-term gains. Additional context and related projects. Interestingly, Jeff Bezos isn't the only high-profile supporter of this project. Singer and producer Brian Eno, who has an estimated net worth of $60 million, has also expressed his admiration for the clock of the long now. In fact, Eno was the one who came up with the name for the clock. He was inspired by the idea of the long now, a concept he'd been mulling over for years. Eno has talked about the difference between what he calls the short now and the long now. The short now is the mindset of living for the present, often without considering the long-term consequences of our actions. It's a way of thinking that's common in our fast-paced, instant gratification culture. But the long now is different. It's about thinking beyond the immediate future and considering the impact of our actions on future generations. Eno's concept of the long now perfectly encapsulates the philosophy behind the clock and the foundation that's overseeing its construction. Speaking of which, the Long Now Foundation was established in 1996 to promote long-term thinking and responsibility. The foundation has been instrumental in keeping the clock project moving forward and ensuring that it stays true to its mission. They've also been involved in other initiatives aimed at fostering a long-term perspective in various fields, from art and culture to science and technology. So what's the latest on the clock of the long now? Construction officially began in 2018, and while progress has certainly been made, there's still a long way to go. Recent photos shared on a website featuring an open note from Jeff Bezos himself show that the clock is slowly but surely coming together. However, as of now, there's no official completion date for the project. It's a bit ironic, isn't it? A clock that's all about the long-term future doesn't even have a set timeline for when it will be finished. But that's part of the beauty of this project. It's not about rushing to meet a deadline. It's about creating something that will last for thousands of years. Something that will stand as a testament to human ingenuity and our ability to think beyond our own lifetimes. Now that you know all about Jeff Bezos' timekeeping passion project, we'd like to leave you with another one of his philanthropic endeavors that's sure to catch your interest, the Day One Fund. The mission of the Day One Fund is simple, yet incredibly impactful. Bezos has pledged $2 billion to fund educational programs for homeless communities. In 2020, he announced that the fund had already distributed over $105.9 million to various organizations working to make a difference. It's clear that Bezos is committed to using his wealth to leave a lasting legacy, both through projects like the Clock of the Long Now and through initiatives like the Day One Fund. Before we wrap up, let's end with a fun fact. We've talked about a 500-foot tall clock being built inside a mountain. But did you know that the world's largest clock tower is even taller? The Mecca Clock Tower in Mecca, Saudi Arabia, stands at an astounding 1,983 feet tall and features four clock faces, each 151 feet in diameter. The tower cost an estimated $15 billion to build, making it a true giant among timekeepers. Thanks for tuning in today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It really helps us out. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to join our community of 15 million subscribers. We'll see you next time with more stories about the wealthy, the well-off, and their extraordinary projects. Have a fantastic day.